Big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Have you ever tried cooking and eating liver? Well, you should, and let me tell you why. My main reason that I eat liver is because I had two lambs raised in my own pasture, butchered them, took them apart, ate them, and of course, there's organ meats that are going to be left. And of course, I could just feed it to the dog, throw it away, or I could eat it myself. Of course, there's some people on the internet that also claim that this stuff gives you magical powers. Yes. And seriously, I don't know about that. I don't, do you think magical powers are in order? Well, he's kind of big. But I eat liver. I, you know, we have the big liver, buck liver uh, mm -hmm. sausage. Mm -hmm. You think it works? Liver king. <laughs> That's about it. This is what I'm talking about. Beautiful lamb liver. Not the giant size that you get out of beef, but just like a modest, good sized liver, which is gonna make the perfect snack for my lunch. Trust me, it might not look appetizing to you yet, but I'm gonna cook it in a way that you're gonna love it. You're gonna be amazed, and probably you're gonna be eating liver every week after you finished watching this video. My kids eat baked liver like the liver sausage. They think it's better tasting on a sandwich than a burger. Listen, I'm just saying, no more cat food for this. This is like the main thing. We should call McDonald's ahead of time so they know this is coming and they should make a burger out of it. First thing that I'm gonna do is marinate the liver. Add some liver, add some milk until the liver is fully covered. Then add some fresh herbs. And I got some rosemary, which I'm gonna bruise up. And the bruising helps with releasing the etherical oils that sits in the rosemary. I'm gonna do the same for this time, break it up like that. And the amounts doesn't really matter. It's just making sure that you got a few twigs of herbs to add flavor to the milk. Of course, I'm gonna be using a tablespoon of salt as well, just to make sure we have the osmosis effect. And that is when the salt is being drawn into the meat and it takes with it a little bit of that milk flavor and the flavor from the fresh herb. Don't forget the ground pepper. Cover it up and set it in the fridge for at least two hours. And then it's time to take it out. Look at the color change. Now, of course, I'm gonna pet this dry. I'm only interested in the flavor that the liver absorbed from the milk. Went from an almost purple red to a really a light pink. The silver skin needs to go off. There we go. And there we have the end result. A beautiful liver ready to be cooked. I'm going to cut the liver into strips because I wanna serve it in strips because these are gonna be little lunch snacks. Let me clean this up a little bit. This is the result in between. Now, of course, this needs seasoning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a delicious rub consisting of some fresh parsley, thyme, rosemary, and sun-dried tomatoes. And of course, a tablespoon of finishing salt. Grind that up. And that is a flavor bomb. It almost turned into a paste. And of course, that is what happens when you use sun-dried tomatoes. Oh. That's gonna mix perfect with the liver. This is now ready. Now let's take it to the next level of flavor. I'm gonna peel and chop fine two onions and a bunch of garlic cloves. I'm gonna fire up the side burner on my Napoleon Prestige Pro 500. I'm just gonna let in a little bit of gas and then hit the ignition button. Now, I've got two pans here. I wanna ask you the question, which pan would you use to saute onion? Here, I got my Scottsburg cast iron pan and this is my stainless steel pan. Which one is the right one? Just put the pan on, let it become hot. Add a lump of butter, put the garlic and the onion in, saute it. And of course I'm gonna season the onion and garlic with a little bit of salt. And as you can see, no sticking to the bottom because of the amount of butter that I used. The perfect pan for sauteing onions and garlic. And now it's time to build it up. I'm gonna take one of my slices of liver, a sauteed onion and garlic, put some young Dutch Gouda cheese on, and then wrap it in bacon. Of course, the bacon is a smart decision to put on the liver because the liver itself has no fat and the fat of the bacon is going to render down and protect the bacon and make it nice and crispy on the outside. And now that I've got everything prepped, I'm going to turn on my gas burners. Now this Napoleon has four gas burners. And I'm gonna set them to the lowest position at least two of them so I can have a direct zone and then I have a safe zone that I can move my liver to. A little bit of oil on the grill grates to prevent the meat from sticking. And now I can put my liver on over the hot part of the grill. A couple of them with the cheese, bacon and onion version. And a few for the hardcore liver lovers, straight up with only a little bit of seasoning. Time to close the lid. 
It's been about 10 minutes on the lowest setting. Time to check in onto our liver. Uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit of color on the bottom. Let's flip this around. And man, this smells absolutely amazing. This is gonna be really, really good. Close the lid again, give it another 10 minutes or so, and then they're done. I just measured the temperature on my bacon, onion, and cheese liver. Liver fillets? No. Liver steaks? No. Liver, liver fingers. Comment down below. Give us a good name for this recipe. I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce on because this is almost done. Last bit of flavor, a little drizzle of barbecue sauce, and then brush it on. Instantly we get that barbecue color on that crispy bacon, and that's going to add another layer of flavor. I'm gonna give it two more minutes, then I'm gonna take it off. And there you have it, the end result. Liver from the lamb. And of course the end result looks beautiful, tasty and delicious, and especially the barbecue version. Now the question is, does it taste good? And therefore I would suggest my cameraman taste it first, and after that I would taste it. It doesn't look like a full yeah, man. <laughs> All right, we got it. Oh, fish liver. You got, you got someone who, who... You like it? He wants a piece. What's going on? Let's try a piece of that liver. Nice texture and really dense in structure, but it's also really soft. Like, you can break this up just by scraping it. Mmm, fish liver. And in itself, it tastes good. Nothing wrong with that liver. But now let's try the barbecue version. Oh, wow, I'm gonna have another piece of this. This is really amazing. This stuff makes me happy. It's not essentially what you do with liver. Do you like the liver taste? If you don't like the flavor of it, then switch it up. Make something out of it, add ingredients to it until it becomes something that you do enjoy. Well, this recipe is on pitmasterworks.com, so I suggest you check that out. Don't waste any parts of the animal. Mm. Mm.